Hey y'all, it's Jen. Um, I hope y'all had a good week. I finally had a good week. <laughs> it took me three weeks to get there, but I had a good week. So I want to talk to you about what happened. So um, I weighed in on Sunday, as always, and my weight was 201.4, so I was down 3.4. Because the previous week, the middle of me binging and trying to trying to get back on track, but since I binged, I didn't binge like every day. It's just I was really lazy and I was open to binging and I just I just had a couple of really bad weeks. And so um, I had gotten up to on the 10th of April to 204.8. And so um, I had a really good week and I was at 201.4. So I'm down 3.4 pounds, which is really good. Um, so I was excited about that. I kicked my butt and I was very much being dil diligent on getting back into working out, which y'all saw in my video of walking around with me at the park. You weren't like really seeing me exercise. I realized that after the fact. <laughs> so it's like, whatever. Um, but you got to see the pretty park I like to go to. But I was trying to get back into working out and running and going to the gym. Um, and then also um, tracking better and realizing that I let a lot of stuff seep into my days that I shouldn't have let do do that. Anyway, so I kind of got that back on track and I just like kind of revamped my mind. Next week, my goal is to be at one, like 199, 198 um, because my, my scale is already showing those numbers at home, but we all know that it's not real until I get there. So uh, at Weight Watchers. So I have gotten a lot of Bravo stickers um, for those of you that are just tuning in or whatever. Um, I'm with Weight Watchers and so we get these little weekly success story books and like this is where you put the stickers of where you are daily. Um, anyways, and then at the end you have these little Bravo stickers and what they do is just like in the meetings if you contribute something that's helpful or you did something that's like praiseworthy, they give you Bravo stickers, which make me happy. So I'll go over a couple that I got. Um, this last time I got three Bravo stickers. So I had a really good week actually. So one, I got one for doing Turbo Fire while it was raining. Um, cause I love to go running outside, but it was raining all in Dallas for a while. And anyway, so I just opened up my windows because they're covered on the outside. So nothing came in, but that way it smelled like I was still outside in the rain cause it's my favorite weather. Um, but then I was doing my turbo fire videos, which I love. And I was going to talk about those here in a minute too. So one for actually working out, even though it was raining and I didn't want to drive to the gym or go outside. Um, I got another one for, um, my running pants being too big. And that I had to get um, new pants or whatever. Because a girl mentioned that I, they look too big. And so I wound up getting a Bravo sticker for that. Okay. Um, and then the other one was drinking black coffee three times this last week. Who am I? I don't know. I have been trying so hard to wean myself off of the Frappuccinos from Starbucks and lattes. After I left the meeting, last week's meeting was about, you know, how much, how many points are you drinking and a lot of people have alcohol. I don't. I don't have a problem not drinking alcohol. So that's just an easy no for me. Um, but I don't know. Like, And I don't really drink milk. I never drink juice. So if I'm having anything with calories in it, it's usually, um, it's usually coffee. And so I'll put a couple of points worth of either creamer or whatever in it. Anyways, so I went to a restaurant in Addison. It's called I Declare. It's Southern food. I think I've talked about it before. It's amazing. And, um, they have a French press. And so I had it and he brought the, the, you know, thing of sugars and he brought a little thing of creamer. And I was like, I'm just stepped out of my Weight Watchers meeting. I'm going to try to not have creamer. And I did. And it was good. Like, and I found that it has to be, to win yourself off, it has to be really good. You have to give yourself some time. So if you had the heavily sugared stuff, go to you know, a lesser amount of it or go to an artificial version or a low fat milk instead of whole milk or whatever. And then kind of wean yourself off of it. Anyways, but it's been a long time coming for me. So don't think it's just been overnight because it hasn't. Um, but anyways, I found this week that it has to be really good coffee to start off. Um, so I had the French press that was amazing. And then I had some really good Keurig uh, K-cup coffees that were good. The great value coffees at Walmart. I was being cheap and got those. They're really good. Um, anyways, but then I had a black Americano from Starbucks. It was terrible because their coffee always kind of tastes burned. Maybe that's why all of their drinks always have so much sugar and additives and, and shots of like, you know, caramel and whatever. 
So anyways, I haven't quite gotten to Americanos at Starbucks, but we'll see. So anyways, but I was really proud of myself because I got a Bravo sticker for having black coffee. And every almost everyone in the room was like, oh my gosh, good for you. Like that was almost more of a revelation than someone saying they've lost 75 pounds. Like the lady next to me, she's like, there's no way I could drink black coffee. So anyways, that was funny. Um, so some other ones that I've gotten that I don't think I've mentioned in a while is um, for my one year anniversary, I was almost down 30 pounds. Um, I got another one for fitting in Nutella to make me happy in the morning um, and still counting it in my points. Um, this week I didn't have any Nutella. So I think I'm starting to just go ahead and take that out. Um, and maybe just use it as a once in a while treat rather than every day. Um, but if I wanted to put it in, I could. It's just a way I was taking it out so I could have something somewhere else. Um, and then I got a Bravo sticker for inspiring a coworker because um, she couldn't see, what did she say? Um, I can't imagine you big. And I don't know if I've talked to you all about that before, but that was just a revelation for me that someone, they've never seen me 25 to almost 30 pounds heavier and so she is, she's bigger than me, but in, I guess in her eyes, she thinks I'm skinny. And that's just, it's still hard for me to wrap my head around that someone sees me as the skinny person at work. It's just hard. Anyway, so, so those are some of the ones that I've gotten. So that was exciting. And then also, um, I got my charm that I was working towards. So sorry, I need to get some water. My throat's all dry. So this is my charm catcher, and it's starting really to fill up. I'm kind of excited. But the last one is um, every quarter they have um, basically attendance um, charms. So this one I was so excited for because Goonies is one of my favorite movies. And so I know there's someone out there that watches my channel. It's like Goonies 51 or 52 or something like that. So this is for you. <laughs> um, so it looks like a little map, and it's kind of crinkly. See, it's a little crinkly on the side. And it has W's on that side. And then, it makes me so happy, it's so stupid. Um, and then it has a little dotted line. It's hard to see, it has a little dotted line and an X, like X marks a spot. And the whole point of um, this was to be like, find your adventure, find an activity that makes you happy and you can work towards and whatever. So anyway, so I was so excited that I got that and I had to go out of my way because I think it was four Sundays ago now. I couldn't make it to a meeting, and so I wanted to go into a Thursday night meeting. And then I didn't go the week of Easter, but I got a pass just because it was closed on the day I normally go. Um, and then I had to miss the next Sunday because I was at market getting wedding gowns for our store because I work at a bridal shop. And uh, so I couldn't go then, and so I went on that, like, Thursday morning or whatever. So I went out of my way to go to my meetings, and it kind of – and it held me – keep it kept me accountable – um, anyways, but I th honestly think that part of the reason why I was easily apt to binge or I didn't want to work out is because I wasn't going to my regular meeting. So anyway, so I got that. So that was exciting. <laughs> um, so getting off of my binge kick this week has been really good, but I had three weeks of, it's not like I was just binging every day. It wasn't like that. Otherwise I'd be up like 10 or 15 pounds, but I was wanting to go to fast food and I was wanting to go to Taco Bell and to um, Chick-fil-A all the time. And there's a girl at work, the girl I was inspiring. And we even talked today about weight loss and I'm going to give her some of my workout videos so she can kind of start working something into her, her days. But um, I, I, I don't know, even she'll order like Jimmy John's sandwiches. And like yesterday, for example, she was like, I'm going to order a Jimmy John sandwich. Do you want anything? I'm like, yeah, that sounds really good. Even though I had brought a ham and cheese sandwich for lunch. And so I, she's like, well, what did you bring? And so I told her that. She's like, why would you order a sandwich if you have a sandwich? I'm like, I don't know. Like, it has, it doesn't make any sense. But that's what I was going to do. And I did eat my sandwich, and it was delicious. It was ham, cheese with avocado and mustard, and it was on rye bread, and it was amazing. So it was better than Jimmy John's anyway. So I don't even know. I'm just in that kick of, I think, wanting to rebel against being so structured, being good, which I'm sure everyone can understand. But, um, I mean, just like that video I made with in the moment of me binging, and I'm so sorry it was so dark. It didn't dawn on me until after I posted it that I should have turned on my overhead lights in my car. Like, that's how chaotic my mind was. I wasn't even thinking straight. Like, it was ridiculous. So, anyways, I did it mostly for me, but hopefully, I obviously for y'all too, because so many people have had so many comments on them relating to that and understanding that and I don't even think I was even making sense through half of it like my mind was so scattered and running 90 miles a, mo a minute and it was just it was kind of a hard video to watch actually for me 
number one, to put it out there. <laughs> so I hope it was helpful for some of you. But I, I've always, there's something about being in that binging moment that you're so overwhelmed that even as you're driving into wherever you're going to go, like stop and get food or whatever, or before you walk to your fridge or walk to your pantry, as you're even walking there, you're like, I know I shouldn't do it. Why am I still doing this? Well, heck, I know I'm going to give into it anyway. So just, you know, to heck with it. So it was really important for me. And hopefully maybe it was helpful to you to see that I could talk myself out of it. So that's what I've been working on this week is every time I come up with a binging moment. And what I mean by that is I start craving something so strongly that it's like I can't even breathe and I, I can't move on to something else or I can't concentrate on whatever I'm doing, whether it be at work or at home or, or whatever, until I, until I get whatever I'm craving. And there's, there's something mentally related to people that it's, it's not just that I was craving something. It's like, it's truly, I don't know if I have, um, I wouldn't call it, I don't even know if I would call it an addiction Addiction is a really hard word. I don't know. I'm not a sign. I, I, I haven't gone into therapy or anything for it, but there, there are times where it's so absolutely overwhelming that if I had gone to, to Wendy's, trust me, I wouldn't have gotten the chicken. And if I was around all that other stuff, other things would have been purchased. So anyway, so I hope y'all all, um, got a lot out of that video. Um, I've watched it many times since then, to be honest. And um, I don't know. It's just, it was just kind of a powerful thing, at least for me. So hopefully it was good for y'all. So, so some of the things I've been doing to get out of it, um, y'all saw me working out. And so I've started, um, my trifecta of workouts again, now that the weather is getting better. Um, but it has been raining. So what I do is if it's not raining, I go for a jog. Um, and I'm, I'm doing just three miles right now, which is average for me. So I'll go out onto the golf course, which we live next to, um, or I'll go in our neighborhood or I'll go to that park that I showed y'all, which is absolutely beautiful. And the turtles are so cute. Um, or I will go to the gym and I'll do a warm up like I showed y'all. And then I'll do weights, which I don't know what happened to my footage on that video. So I apologize. Um, or I'll do a workout video, which, um, I like Shalene Johnson. She is one of those I've seen on TV. So for example, if y'all need a good workout that is cardio based and kickbox based and like high energy and it's kind of fun. This is the original Turbo Jam, and it was on infomercials years and years ago. Um, these are like all of the uh, less intense ones, and like it's a lot of punching and kicking, and um, it has a lot of kind of modern music, but let's face it, not really. She likes to throw back to the 80s and 90s. Anyways, but these are really good if you want to, and you can still order them for sure. Um, those are really good for not super intense cardio, but they're really good because they're fun and I like to punch and I like to kick. Those are my favorite things. I kind of feel powerful when I'm doing that. So those are what I like to do and you get really good results from it, but you have to remember that food is probably 80% of losing weight. Disclaimer. <laughs> um, anyways, and then she came out with Shalene Extreme, which I didn't get, but I got the Turbo Fire, which is amazing. But if you're very, 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 not overweight, but if you're very, very, very out of shape and not used to hard cardio, this is going to be hard for you. So a little warning there. But anyways, this just has all of the videos in here. Um, anyway, it's just really, really good. And you can go on to other YouTube. I'm sure there's videos of it. Or you can go to Beachbody.com and that's where you can order it. I'm not like sponsored by them or anything. I just love their her stuff. The other thing I do, and I do this, it doesn't, you don't lose weight doing Pyo, which is her other thing, which is kind of like a Pyometrics yoga kind of thing. Um, but it helps my knees so much. So if you have knee problems, I'd recommend this. This one came out, this is the most recent thing that she did. Um, anyways, it's kind of like yoga and Pilates, but it's in fluid movement to where you're still kind of, you're not staying static in one place. She kind of moves you through things. To where you're doing a lot of tricep push-ups, which are <laughs> I'm awful at. Um, anyways, but it's really good for my knees for some reason. Whenever I do those at least twice a week, and I just do them once or twice a week, my knees feel a lot better. So I hope uh, this video is encouraging, and I just wanted to catch up with y'all and say hello. Um, and then uh, I hope y'all have a good week. And my goal for this next week is to get to 198 or 199. 
Um, so here's a, here's to a really good week, hopefully. So anyways, I hope you have a good week and I'll see you later. Bye.